Welcome to Red Carpet TV Nigeria. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. For coverage of events, you can call any of the numbers in the description box. Thank you and enjoy our videos. <laughs> Sometimes they say never last, but tough people do. That axiom was perfectly epitomized in the life of a woman, the late Princess Rachel Jolade Osho, who was undoubtedly an exemplar of the belief that destiny plays a predominant role in the life of any person. <laughs> It was for this reason that on Thursday, February 6, 2020, the wife of Ekete State Governor, Ewelu Bisi Fayemi, led other well-meaning women of Ekete State to Ikere Ikiti for the outings, the dances, and the performances of necessary rites at the passage of a woman who peacefully went home in glory as a centenarian. <laughs> The story of Princess Jola de Osho first came to public consciousness around July 2019 in the course of advocacy activities of Erelu Bisi Fayemi for the Onja Rugbo component of the Ekitu State Social Security Scheme for the Elderly, having been discovered to be frail and abandoned in a ramshackle abode with no family member to attend to her, Bisi Fayemi took interest in her and adopted her as a mother. As Kwali's circumstance was changed for the better, as she had a residence rehabilitated with caregivers hired for her to take care of her and ensured she lacked nothing for the rest of her life. Hmm, though Mama Osho had many rough times, her life ended well as she spent her last days a happy woman. It was therefore not surprising that everyone who shone in lovely attires of orange color showed solidarity with her self-adopted daughter, Erelu Fayemi, who led everyone to the St. Andrew's Anglican Church Agbado Quarters, Ikere Ikiti, for the funeral service to celebrate the life of this woman who lived to the ripe old age of 110. <laughs> Melodious hymns from the choristers were a soothing welcome to guests who soon filled the church in no time. While showering and comments on busy fire me and her husband, the governor of Ekitu State. Dr. Kaya de Fayemi for their lofty strides in taking care of the elderly. The vicar of the church, Reverend Canon Matthew Owabu Muye, thanked everyone to emulate the worthy life which Mama Osho lived. When we are talking about Mama, that is Princess Rachel Ocho, he alive to every one of us, I will say that a life that we should emulate. Because by the time we had so we came, we had a lot of a lot of good things about this mama. Mogo Fezare Kokan Larare. One woman calling we pay. I am in low. 
Fire me, no, they say, oh, it's your back. Oh, they lose, no, they say, oh, it's your back. Oh, they lose, no, they say, oh, it's your back. Thank you very much. There is no much time. I know you all know this song. But as old as Mama, Mama was singing that song. And can you imagine that Mama benefited from that song? This first, let everyone in joining Mrs. Fayemi to dance and give praises to God in the Thanksgiving session. <laughs> They were then prayed for. The service did not end without the choristers making it memorable with a rendition of a special song dedicated to the unforgettable memory of Mama Osho. <laughs> Following the affirmation of faith and the commuters, Mama was later interred at the grave site. Born into the Akwelua compound in Okeruku, quarters of Ikera Ikiti, over a century ago, Mama Osho lived long enough to witness the installation of four kings in the Kara kingdom. Even though she lacked material wealth, she was richly blessed with good health and a very long life. An industrious woman, she spent most of her youthful days trading in fabrics and agricultural products. Her marital life was not a fantastic one as she lost all her children to untimely death in quick succession and thus began the journey of agony, trauma and stigma. Despite the excruciating pains nature and her environment inflicted on her, Mama remained a good-natured woman. To celebrate her father, guests gathered at the garage pavilion Odwoja Ikere Kitty for the reception, staged to entertain everyone. Under a large marquee, the party held. Starting from the drapes, the decor was glam as everything and everywhere had touches of charm. There were enough foods and drinks to go round for the pleasure of guests. It was therefore on this pleasurable note that guests stepped onto the dance floor to jig to some exciting dance steps as Jumai and a funky music band thrilled everyone to good times. Red Carpet TV spoke with some of their guests. Just like a biological daughter. And the is so wonderful. You know, in the olden days, our uh, aged people would never starve. They would never lack. It was programmed inside us, inside our psyche, that as we grow old, we take care of our old ones. There's a Yoruba saying, right, that says, We have always abided by that. But somewhere along the line, we just lost this way. So it's really hard for me that someone like that uh, old lady that we celebrated today could be living in that state, that desolate state. Of the show. So these projects, these programs of Yoruba, like the like the Oji Arugo, um, Arugo by Dr. Faibu, these are to take care, to provide a safety net for those who cannot take care of themselves on the site and take care of
just as I have been saying uh, since I met her, and as I said in the church, I'd like to appeal to every single one of us to look around us very closely. There are many more like Mama Jola Joshua who are living in penury because they don't have any children to look after them anymore. We should not abandon them. They should not be uh, derided. They should not be taunted or scorned. They need to be cared for. They need to be loved with whatever we have. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we say rest in peace, Mama Jola De Osho, in the bosom of the Lord. And to Erelu Bisi Fayemi, we say kudos to you for playing a very vital role in the life of the disease. <laughs> Thank you for watching Red Carpet TV Nigeria. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel.